Hey everyone, it's me Joji and today we're going to be playing with one of the decks that I love that came out of Shining Fates. It's going to be the Crobat VMAX deck. Now this thing is amazing in my opinion. Stealth Poison does 70 damage, poisons your opponent, and then retreats back to the bench. That is a lot of good ability for one attack. And to make best of it, we're going to go ahead and use Lily's Poke Dolls so we can retreat back into those and they won't take any prize cards for knocking this thing out or we'll force them into using a boss's orders. And also, we have Altaria, which doesn't take any damage from Pokemon V, V Max, and GX Pokemon. So we have a nice decent wall here with the Lily's Pokedoll and the Altaria. And then to increase that poison damage, we're gonna be running some Toxicrope. So we have three of these in the deck. So that totals up to, if we have all three on the bench, of a total of 70 per turn for damage counters from poison. And in case they want to remove the poison by switching out a Pokemon, we are running some Dust Island. So if they switch out with a trainer card like Switch or uh, Bird's Keeper, they're gonna be sending in a new Pokemon with damage counters already on it with 70 total each turn there. Uh, for trainers, we're running Boss's Orders, three of them. And instead of Professor's Research, I'm trying out Karina's Focus. Just want to see how this does. Instead of just discarding our whole hand and drawing seven, we draw until we have six. So I'm going to be trying to play as many cards as possible per turn before I run a Karina's Focus. Uh, we have, of course, four Marnies. We have one Pokemon's Reader Nurturing, just in case we do have two cards that we want to evolve immediately. So let's say we want to get in some Toxicroaks or the uh, Altaria or maybe just a Crobag VMAX. This Pokemon Breeder is going to be a bit helpful. We have some U-Turn boards. And then for energy, we're running four Capture Energy. This will help us fill up our bench a little bit faster so we can set up the wall a bit better. We have Hiding um, Darkness Energy to retreat without any cost. And of course, just some six basic energies there. But that's pretty much what we're going to be running. We're going to see how this does. I've played alterations of this. This is going to be my first time running this kind of specific build. So we'll see how it does in some battles here. So we got our first matchup here. Um, I don't know what it is based off the deck, but there is a Glaceon on it. Let's see here. Thomas Stone, Returnitus coin. Okay, maybe Eternatus VMAX. We'll see. All right, let's see who's going first. Okay, I'm going first, which is ideal because I am evolving Pokemon. Um, not ideal is having two Crobats out, but I'm gonna put one down at least. I'd have preferred to have had maybe a Swablu or a Krogunk go in, but that's okay. We'll see what, how we go from here. Waiting for the opponent. Waiting for the opponent. Actually, these, okay. They have Zacian. Okay, so they may be running some kind of Zacian deck there. We'll see in a second. Once they choose their starting Pokemon, if they're going to choose anything else on the bench. But I think uh, first turn, probably quick ball away one of the energies. Attach an energy. Maybe bring in a Krogunk or a Swablu. Let's see here. What are we drawing into? A boss's order. So we have two bosses in hand. All right, let's thin this out a bit by using the quick ball. And yeah, I think I will grab a crow. Actually, you know what? I'm going to grab a Swablu. We're going to go ahead and set that up. Just take a quick peek here. We only have one Altaria, two Toxic Croak. Oh, we have one in hand though. So let's grab this up. We'll at least start setting up this wall. Disappointing also Crobat V right there. Um, but I don't think he realizes that is what our gimmick is. We don't care if we get the, it first. Um, I'm going to keep the Lily's Pokeball, Poke Doll for now, and we'll end there. Hopefully next turn we can maybe get, I don't know, a VMAX? Or maybe an Altaria? We might have to Marnie. Piers going up. Dark City's not bad for us because that actually lets us retreat. My guess now is definitely it is a... Ooh, it's just a dark box. Hoopa GX. Interesting. Good thing we have our Altaria. Let's see. Rogue Ring. I think what we probably have to worry about is Dark Strike and Devilish Hands. Definitely a Hoopa deck. Okay. First time seeing this. 
It lets you search up two cards. Gotcha. We'll see where it goes from here, though. This is my first time really seeing this Hoopa deck. I don't know what to expect from it, um, other than maybe Devilish Hands being a problem. I'm going to... Let's see here. I'm going to start attaching some things here. Unfortunately, we're going to have to maybe put these at the bottom of our deck, but let's go ahead and do that. We still have the other two or the other one in deck, so let's see here. Get a Krogan now. But we did also get the Crobat VMAX, so that's good. We can at least set up this Crobat here. And we can attach, start doing our Stealth Poison here. Uh, we will have to switch into our Poke Doll. I would have preferred to maybe switch into the Altaria if I had gotten one. But next turn we can at least Barney get some cards back in hand. I don't know if I want to set this other U-turn board up maybe on the other Crobat or if they get us stuck with uh, the Altaria or Swablu maybe that one as well. I think I might put it on the, the Swablu. Alright some more dark cards. Probably gonna use that Crobat after setting some stuff up. It looks like they're going for a Hydreigon to set up some energy. Alright, let's see here. What else are you gonna do? Evolution Incense. It looks like they may be getting a Hydreigon if they have the rare candy. Yep, it looks like the Marnie is definitely gonna be the play to put that at the bottom of their deck. Unfortunate for them, they don't know we have another Marnie. Rogue Ring again. Ooh, this is even worse for them because they're gonna grab more cards into the hand and the Martin is just gonna mess them up even more. Oh man, I feel bad for them. I really do. They don't know this Martin is coming. All right, so I guess what we want to do is, ooh, hide darkness energy. Let's set up this YouTube board there. The hide energy, I think I'm gonna put it on, ooh, I could get the knockout I think here. I'm, I think I'm going to get it regardless, so I'm going to set up the other Crobat. At least Poke Doll. Get it out of here, put it at the bottom, or top, I forget bottom, top. Alright, Crobat VMAX, Marnie, his whole hand, unfortunately, whatever he had used Rogue Ring for has been pointless. Um, hmm. We're in a good situation here. I don't know if I'm going to, I'm going to check with Pokecom, see what we have, and I'll probably put the Crobat back in, into my hand. Uh... I could get a Toxicroak actually. And then Quick Ball for. Ooh, actually, let's set up all Oteria. That's a, probably a good idea since he is gonna set up that other one there. Alright, Quick Ball. Away this energy. We're gonna get that Crobat. Wait, did we? No, we didn't. We haven't uh, Dark Asset yet. Asset yet. So let's grab our six cards in hand. Ooh, we even drew into a Toxic Croak. Perfect. All right, um, do I want to set up this other Toxic Croak yet? I do have the Pokemon Breeders Nurturing next turn, so I'm gonna try and do that. Stealth Poison. All right. Um, we're gonna switch into Altaria. They're knocked out now, right? Yep, okay, 190. Let's take our two prize cards, another doll, and an Altaria, okay. Well, it looks like we're pretty set here. Um, I don't know how this would have gone, honestly. Devilish Hands, again, does 30 damage six times. Okay, there's the win. We pretty much knocked out the only card they had set up, so... Alright, first win. Let's go ahead and go on to the next battle. Okay, we're going into another one. Charmander box. You can sometimes tell what they're going to be playing based off their box and their coin. Okay, I have no idea what they're doing. Maybe it's a fire box? Uh, it's a, a Mewtwo... Or not Mewtwo. Mewtwo uh, and Mew fire box? Could be. It could be that. Um, I don't know if I wanted this Krogunk here, especially since I don't have anything else. But I do have a couple Quick Balls. Uh, this is a sticky situation here. I don't know what to really remove from my hand. Ah, man. Okay, let's get rid of the Dark Energy. 
All right, let's take a good look here. What do we have? We have all our Crobats, all our Toxicroaks are in our deck. We're missing all, no, okay, no, we have all our Arterias. Let's grab a Crobat. Wait, is the shiny one there? Okay, well, that's fine. We'll grab a Crobat. We're gonna go ahead, play some things. I don't know if I wanna quick ball away something else. No, let's play. I really want to play the capture energy on this Crobat. I, I don't know which direction to go here. I think we're going to have to get rid of the VMAX. We're going to go ahead and grab a blue. Set that up. Okay, I think I know what we're going to do here. All right, so we're going to draw four cards. I would have loved to draw five, but let's go ahead and go with four. Capture. And we're going to set up another croak maybe. So we can have three, because this guy might get knocked out next. Let's do that. And then we can uh, U-turn board onto this dude here. And one for now, we do have that Hiding Darkness Energy ready for a Crobat VMAX literally in hand. So we're pretty solid there. Uh, so, oh, okay, Mad Party. There's gonna be some easy knockouts, but the damage it's gonna do is gonna be pretty high once they get set up. They have nothing set up yet. All right, let's see how quickly they can get up to 270. Quick ball. Probably discarding the rhyme. Yep. The Dene, okay. Is it gonna get rid of all their hand? Let's see here. Could be, they could be removing their whole hand here. Oh no, they're drawing some more things first. There it goes, okay, so they're at, I forget how much damage it does, 20 per, so they're at 40, which is fine. If they get four in play and they maybe get a bundle B out with a, a twin energy, maybe they'll be able to get the knockout on the Crow Gunk immediately this turn. But I think we're gonna respond with the Crobat V Max next turn. All right, how many do they have now? They got, ooh, they have enough. They have four, that's 80 damage. But they do not have a Bunnelby set up yet. Let's see if they can grab it soon. They're grabbing the Denes. Um, and everything else, but no Bunnelbys. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure they have at least maybe three in deck. Maybe they're just dead drawing those Bunnelbys. Unfortunate for them, but fortunate for us. All right, dude. What else you got for me? I'm gonna get up that Toxicroak. Uh, I don't even know if you wanna get the Toxicroak up. This is one of the matches that I was worried about. Single prize card decks like Bunnelby, or Mad Party, I should say. All right, see if you can set up that Bunnelby. And you would have to have some kind of switch energy. All right, let's see. Pokecom. What else you gonna bring up? You can bring up a Crobat, I think, right? Most likely a Crobat. Yeah, there it was. I blocked it for a second, but there is a Crobat. Let's see what you can draw here. You need some kind of switch, or maybe if you have U-turn boards. Crushing hammer, okay, that's not good. All right, please hit tails. Ooh, you hit the heads, okay. There's a U-turn board. So, we're about to lose our Crow Gunk. Ooh, do you have enough, sir? You don't have enough. Okay, but that is 100 damage. That is painful. All right, at least Poke Doll. We're gonna go ahead and set up a Crow Gunk. Uh, let's set this up. I just want to remember it's Dark Pokemon, not Basic. Put up the V Max. That crushing set us a bit back, but we can go ahead and stall for a turn. Hopefully, uh, I don't know, maybe grab a Crobat or something. Or something that we can maybe Pokecom into a Crobat. We'll see here. Does he have another boss's orders? Does the this one still does 20? Okay. So mad party. Okay. I'm hoping to draw into something here. Or else we're kind of in a bad situation. Ooh, Marnie. I will take a Marnie. Let's see here. Maybe we'll get something good. Ooh, we did get our energy. That's good. Uh, Pokemon breeders for next turn. Okay, let's set up another Toxicroak. How about that? Um, 
Let's do that. I don't know if I want to put the Swablu up. I think I'm going to put up a Crobat. Yep. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, Altaria. Wonderful. Not so wonderful because it only has 110. So it's not going to be doing too much. But let's go ahead and Stealth Poison. Actually, how many do you have in here? You have... You're going to have enough. And you have a Sinistee up. So I think I might want to switch into the Crobat here. I don't know if I want to give you a single prize. Let's see here. Hmm... I might want to boss order something up and do 180, maybe onto the Crobat later. Let's see. I'm going to give you a Krogunk. You can have this Krogunk. You're probably going to use some kind of uh, triple acceleration. Or maybe just a regular twin energy, but how many do you have still in play? You still have your four in play. And I'm assuming you're probably running four triple accelerations? Okay, here's a crushing. Are you gonna get a heads again? Ooh, good, 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 good. Tea break. Discarding some more cards. The good thing is we can definitely get them down to maybe two prize cards and take one of these, or maybe even both of them if we want to. All right, do you not have? Oh, there's the Bunnelby. Professor's research, really digging, okay. I'm wondering if we maybe can deck them out soon. They have 15. Um, they need to have their full 240. Oh. You going for it? Okay. All right. There's the TCE or TCE. Uh, TAC. TAE? TAE. All right. Come on. I think I'm going to keep giving them single prizes for now. Once we get them down to maybe four, we'll set it up. But uh, let's see here. Uh, I think let's get our other VMAX ready here. Let's grab our shiny Crobat VMAX and start setting up this guy here. Karina's Focus is a good idea. I'm going to set up the U turn board there just in case. Crobat for some more enter or cards. I think we need an energy for this turn. No energy for this turn. We'll throw up a Dust Island. Why not? We'll add another U-turn board. I don't know. Uh, here, 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 here. I don't think it really matters. Bosses orders up something maybe. Hmm. No, I think we'll save the boss's orders for a different turn. I'm gonna go ahead and Karina's focus some more cards into hand. Ooh, there is an energy now, though. I'm gonna start setting up another Crobat. All right, Stealth Poison. And we're gonna go ahead and move into the Altaria, even though this can get knocked out. All right, let's see here. What do we have? Pokecom, okay. We could Pokecom into something and then grab the other VMAX. How many cards do you have now? Four, seven, nine, eleven. That's twenty-two. Um, or sorry, two hundred and twenty. Level ball. Okay. That's a really big hand. I don't know if I have any more Marnies. I definitely have more Marnies. I don't know where they are. They're somewhere. There is a twin energy. Go ahead and take out that single knockout. Discarding some cards, okay. So after this, they don't have anything else set up. But it's fairly easy to have them set up here. They're running really low on cards, that's the other thing. I don't know if they're going to play a Marnie and put everything back in at some point, but we'll see. Alright, now we need to worry about them eventually knocking out this Crobat VMAX. So, I think what we probably want to do is put up the doll, set up the other Crobat VMAX, and just go ahead, you know what, we'll throw some more items up. I feel like I want to use the breeder to grab this other Crobat VMAX out. 
Oh, I don't have it. Okay, that's good to know. Thought I still had one in deck. All right, let's take this knockout. We'll be fine if we switch into this Crobat VMAX, I think. Because again, I think they can only do a max of 270, depending on how many cards they have in play or in their discard. Let's see here. They could boss up um, a, this Crobat VMAX and knock it out. I really, they've played two bosses. I don't know how many bosses they play. They could be playing three, but I think they're close to max damage. Uh, that's eight, uh, 10, 12, 15. So they're at, is that 270 already? No, that's uh, it's 300, it's 280. Oh, okay. So they can do more damage than I thought. I don't know why I was thinking the 270. Um, probably what I want to do is hit, go back into the doll, and then maybe switch into, yeah. I really want to get rid of some of these cards. So let's send this away. I want to see, do I have, okay, I have more energy. I have the Marnie too. Uh, this is a very bad spot, but I want to remove some cards from my deck. All right, I can choose not to grab anything. I'm going to go ahead and Karina's focus, draw some cards. We got another doll. We got, ooh, we got an energy. Good. I think I'm worried about them knocking that out. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the other Crobat. I'm pretty sure they're going to go and try and knock that thing out. So hoping next turn or maybe from this uh, knockout, we get an energy from our prize cards. All right, put up the doll. Hopefully energy. Ooh, it is an energy. Okay, so we can get their Crobat or their Dedene next turn. All right, let's see. I think we've got this in the bag. They can't really get two knockouts. Oh. All right, okay, well, we were gonna get the knockout on one of them with the boss's orders, but we won it regardless. I honestly think this deck has a lot of potential. I haven't been able to find too many cases of it going up against maybe some of the newer decks like Urshifu's, but overall, I've done pretty well against some other decks like Eternatus, uh, even ADP It's it's a really good deck. I really enjoy it and hopefully you try it out and hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, I'll put the list down in the description if you want to try it out and copy paste it into Pokemon TCG online and try it out yourself But yeah, give it a try. Honestly love this hit and retreat kind of uh, gimmick going on with this Crobat VMAX deck So yeah, as always stay safe and thanks for watching